Take one potato eye, break it off cleanly, push it into a three inch pot of compost about an inch down, cover and water it in well and let's see how many potatoes we can get from this one eye this year. Hello again, this is the crop from last year just as a little reminder. Last year was the first year that I tried this little experiment, just growing, just to see well, what potatoes I could grow from, just using the eye, so no skin attached, no nothing, just the eye cleanly broken off. So here we are on the 14th of June, and you can see the roots are starting to push through from the bottom of this little three inch pot already. So I'm going to pot this on. That's a look at the root system. It's not as vigorous as it was uh, last year uh, when I compared the two, but uh, it looks healthy. So I'm going to put this on into a five inch pot. There it's potted in. Just going to keep the label on it so I know what a, which uh, potato is the one growing from the potato eye. Give it a watering and good to go. 5th of June and it's looking well but there's two things I noticed about it the first is this discoloration on the leaf now we are starting to see some blight in our area um, but I don't think this is blight there's uh, the dark blotches in the middle of the leaves but the yellow discoloration makes me think it's got more to do with a, a mineral or nutrient deficiency and you can see the snails and slugs have found the plant so before I put this on into a 10 litre pot, I'm just going to remove those leaves. And, and hopefully that should be okay now. So it's going into a 10 litre pot and I have grown seed potatoes in 10 litre pots but the irony is I got a better result last year using just a potato eye than I ever got out of sowing a seed potato in a 10 inch pot. So this is about two inches below the surface so it's being earthed up in a way if you like about two inches. The compost is just commercial compost and oh no I was going to say and I've mixed it in with some of my own vermicompost but I haven't at this stage so up to the 10 litre pot stage the compost I'm using is just commercially bought compost. Giving it a good watering with rainwater. I managed to save a lot of rainwater this year so far, up to this point in time, July, and uh, I noticed that everything grown in the garden actually grows a lot better when you water with rainwater. So I hope this little plant appreciates it. There it is now in its new 10 litre pot, looking quite well. We see how it gets on. Twenty first of July, so about two weeks later. You can see it's put on a lot of top growth and I'm going to transplant this finally into its final um, resting place now which is a 22 litre pot. The base is a mix of spent compost and horse manure and now I made a bit of a dog's dinner of this because as I was uh, transplanting the, the, the potato plant I heard a couple of snaps and I thought I had broken the central homes in transplanting it out but I hadn't thankfully it seems to have been a couple of uh, side shoots which I snapped so I'm hoping that's going to be okay and again it's uh, potted down about two inches below the level of the surface and I've just topped it up now with my own vermicompost so this is going to grow on now uh, in a mix of spent compost horse manure and my own vermicompost I'm hoping I haven't damaged it and having a look here on the 26th 
So the 26th of July and it doesn't look like I killed the plant which is good but I am noticing now that it's starting to flower and I don't want it to do that I want it to concentrate on one thing and one thing only and that's making potato tubers so I'm going to remove any of the flower buds that I see so the plant can then put all its energy into making tubers And that's it. It's a relief to know that I didn't actually kill the plant. And two months later, 26th of September, and it's coming to an end now, really. Like I mentioned earlier, we did get hit quite badly with blight. The tomatoes and the potatoes got hit really hard in this area. And I wasn't sure if this plant had got blight. It may have some little signs of blight, but what I'm looking at, what you're looking at here is really the, the plant just, it's come to the end of its life now. So all of that uh, brown and this coloration is, it's not blight. And the reason I'm, this is the 7th of October. I had a uh, string and some of those uh, little sticks there just to support the homes. Uh, if we got any wind I didn't want them breaking I tried hard enough to break them so I wanted to give it a little bit of protection um, I've noticed it's pushing up a new home there which is a bit, a bit late in the day to be growing I was tempted at this stage to let it grow on so I didn't harvest today but I did have a look a, a sort of closer look and I saw a couple of little potatoes popping their heads up so I recovered them but if you look at the home although it's got that browning on it it's quite firm it's not mushy normally if it's blight uh, the, the homes go to to mush and you can see there th there's no sign of that within the homes so i'm just going to the what i was going to do at this point in time was just break these homes off because there's going to be no more growth with them and then leave that home that fresh fresh looking home to um that new growth to grow and see what it would actually do but this is the 11th of October and it's so cold now really it's pointless it's it's uh, not going to do anything so I'm going to harvest now and let's see what we got this is a very strange clump it actually I thought it was one huge potato but it actually feels like they're fused together you see there's no seed potato so these tubers are just growing straight off the roots that's another club so it, it it's like two fused lumps of potatoes which separated out into individual tubers You can see that that looks like a star I'm just going to separate them out if that's into what looks like the individual potatoes they're the little green tops so they were the two that was well it's yeah it looks like two small potatoes for you they were the ones that were poking their head up a few days ago so at least I knew at that point I did have some potatoes didn't know what I had but already I can tell this is a better crop than last year the potatoes are bigger and there's more of them I had 10 including a pea-sized one last year and this year from the one potato I see there's the roots there they just there's no seed potato they just the tubers just form directly off the roots um, this year there's 14 potatoes so what I'll do now is I'll clean these up and we can have a better look at them there's two or three where the skin seems uh, very cracked very dry and very cracked I don't know what potato they are because the uh, potato I you saw me remove at the very beginning of the video that was from a potato which was overwintered last year and then just kept in a bag out in a lean-to which I forgot about them to be honest and when I found them the potatoes are very mushy but they've all got very nice potato eyes so I broke one off to do this video or to do this little experiment and video it so I'm going to weigh them now that's them cleaned up I'm going to give them a little weighing 
and we'll do a comparison to the weight that I got last year. A trusty little digital weighing scale and let's see what we got. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. 301, 302. Okay, so three pound, just over three pound, and compared to last year, I had a pound and a half. So it's double. So I got double the amount of potatoes from one potato eye as compared to last year. Interesting because I didn't do anything different. Last year it was manure, spent compost, and my own vermicompost, and the same potting on pattern, and the same. Uh, watering regime and 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 uh, grown in the same area in the garden so interesting that the crop literally doubled this year that's them in all their glory so i'm extremely pleased with that uh it set a new record really so second year of trying this little experiment and to be honest i'm chuffed to bits with the result they're lovely looking potatoes these will be dried out now and stored or i might eat these sooner rather than later actually i'm not sure how well they'll store uh because i don't even know what type of potato they are but um that's it I, uh, give this a little uh i said last year i might i might do a potato eye challenge and just with everything that was happening in the year i never got around to doing it but it might be something interesting for us to have a go at next year i'll definitely do it again next year because now i've got three pound uh, 3.02 pounds to beat next year see if that's possible so okay i'll leave it there as always thanks for watching i hope you're all keeping safe and well bye for now